Hello traders and welcome back. Thank you for joining us and in this training video we'll be going over the hanging man candlestick and how to trade it, how to use it in a trend reversal formation. So this is what we're going to cover. We'll talk about what is the hanging man and why it's relevant to you in your trend reversal setups the differences between a hammer and a hanging man, the variations of the hanging man and how it looks like, and some examples of various setups. So let's just talk about the hanging man itself. So the hanging man is only used for sell setups. So we're only when we're looking to short the market. We have a trend forming and what we have at the top of the trend is this formation and it's called a hanging man because it looks a little bit like a man that's hanging with its arms and its head here so what is actually going on in the hammer uh, hanging man candle what we have is at the right at the top we have buying 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 as we go up the trend and then once we close in this candle here we have a lot of selling and the buyers attempt to overrun that selling they don't quite close at the top but they attempt to overrun all that selling pressure However, because of this selling pressure, that is an indication that more selling pressure is to come. So what the hanging man shows is that sellers are now starting to appear in the market and selling pressure is increasing. So as opposed to the hammer, which we find at the bottom of a trend, like so, what we spoke about in another video we have selling pressure and then the buyers overwhelm the whole candle in this case we're talking about selling and although <clears throat> it does look the same in this case what we have is you can see the body of the candle is often at the best hanging man's is often above the previous candle and also sometimes above the following candle and we can see in the following candle that comes next we can see that indeed the suspicion that the sellers are now in the market is confirmed by this very strong selling pressure and this would be a confirmation of the hanging man candle so what are the variations the variations are that in this case we have a close above however the better hanging man would be let's say for example we draw the previous candle again here the best hanging man would be one where either the candle lies right above the previous one and then we have the next candle confirms or we have previous candle and then we have the open and the candle actually closes bearish it closes weak so we pretend this is a black candle this is a selling candle the price closes lower right here that is even better than this one because in this case the price closed higher so the buying pressure was strong and in this case when it closes weak then we can see that the selling pressure is even more prevalent than it is in this case so sometimes the hanging man appears right next to the previous candle and then we have another candle here that comes next 
the selling candle will confirm it. However, they do not always look the same. They hardly ever look the same, in fact, because we have all kinds of variations. So one variation, again, is above where the candle sticks out, the hanging man sticks out, and in this case the hanging man is kind of lying in between on the same, almost on the same level, you can say. <clears throat> so that is the hanging man and how it looks like. So here we are on the chart, and here's one example. You can see very clearly we had a very strong bullish trend, and suddenly right at the top we have this hanging man here. Now, again, as with all the other patterns, we need to remember that we are going to use other confluences. We can use our zones, we can use our fibs, and we can use trend lines, if you like, Elliott waves or ABCD patterns. And we can see here on this level, on the zone, we had the hanging man formation. In the middle of a trend, or if you see the hanging man somewhere at a random area, that is not a high probability setup. And here, again, on the same chart, another example, we can see very strong trend. And suddenly, what do we notice? We have a spinning top doji. We have the hanging man formed on the same level. In this case, it did not peak above. It did not come higher, oops, higher than the previous candles. However, it is still a valid hanging man since it is now at the top of the trend and we can see a slowdown in momentum and a slowdown in price action. And we can see the next candle actually moved higher, spiked above, and we have this confirmed selling pressure. We can see the next, can next candle close lower. And once again, we have another, yet another candle. And this is very clear that now we have selling pressure. And this is a this is the time to sell. Uh, okay, so let's just look at another couple of variations. Here you can see once again a little earlier in the chart the same picture, the same type of price action, very strong bullish momentum, and then suddenly in this case we have a bearish hanging man. So here we could see that the price closed lower. And although the hanging man is not sticking out above the previous candle, it is still hanging man. And we have that very strong confirmation after the hanging man. So these three candles put together will show us the reversal. And as we can see, the market sold off. So let's just look at one more example. Here we are once again. In this case, it's the dollar CAD on the daily. We have another strong trend, and all of a sudden, we can see two candles. In this case, the spin in top, and we have the hanging man sticking out. Hasn't gone above the previous candle, but it's a hanging man. And then we have a very bearish candle, which closed very weak. And we can see that as a confirmation of the actual hanging man itself. And if we zoom out, of course, we would like to see some other confluences. We would like to see a reason for the market to reverse off here. And we will we can see a level here. We may want to draw Fibonacci once more time. And that will go back. That will give us the confirmation. We can now place a cell and we can expect the market to sell off. And that is the hanging man. So just to summarize, it doesn't matter if it closes bullish or bearish, when we can see a clear hanging man with that large wick at the top of a trend. With other confluences, as always, you'd like to use other confluences, other reasons to place the trade because 
you do not want to just rely on the hanging man itself and that will add you add to your setup more strength and increase the probability of it working out and that was a bit about the hanging man candle so thank you very much for watching and uh, if the hanging man candle forms at your expected cell entry with your other confluences and confirmations look to enter with those confirmations on the chart uh, and remember this is a cell candle and used for shorting the market good luck everyone and good trading